what is it that makes the love story in Red, White, and Royal Blue so powerful and compelling and relatable and beautiful? Writing Lessons from Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. What's up, YouTube? I'm Leora Sophie, and I'm an author of urban fantasy and spiritual fiction. This is Writing Lessons, where I overanalyze books I love until I love them even more. I just can't. Oh, this is just a heart melt, okay? It is a heart melting story. I just love it so much. It makes my heart flutter. When I read this, I just, I was just grinning like an idiot the whole time because it's so beautiful and so so fluffy and happy and, and perfect. Oh, I love it. Let's talk about a few things that happen at the beginning of the relationship and a few things that happen later on. What is it that builds up to the characters realizing that they love each other? The first thing that's important to mention in the context of love stories is the passage of time. The passage of time is always a struggle in any kind of writing. You don't want to say stuff like the next day or a month later. Like, you just kind of want to be able to give your readers an idea that time has passed, but without being dry and boring. And that takes some skill. It takes a lot of practice. When you're writing a contemporary novel, or one that takes place in our, the real world, you have the advantage of being able to mention specific events or times of year. You can mention specific holidays, you can mention specific seasons. These things are helpful. When you're in a fantasy world, you're on your own. One of the things that passes the time in Red, White, and Royal Blue is the holidays and the political events. We've got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, the Democratic National Convention, etc. This is important because people don't fall in love in a second. It takes time to get to know a person. It takes time to develop feelings for a person. There isn't necessarily a formula that says what is an appropriate amount of time, but you do have to stretch it out a little bit to make it believable. You have to watch how the passage of time affects how the characters feel about each other. The usage of intimate details. Intimate details are a really important concept in all fiction writing. It's things like private jokes or private shared knowledge. They're at the New Year's party and they're just walking around talking and Alex thinks they all know that I'm the first son and he's the Prince of Wales, but nobody else here knows about the Great Turkey Calamity. That's only something that the two of them share. And that gives them something private that just the two of them share. And that's powerful. That's a very good tiny little detail, a tiny little glimpse into the spark of the relationship growing deeper. Using the communication between them as an escape from the stresses of their lives. You can see that even before it's anything near using the L word, you know, Alex thinks about Henry's emails in order to help himself calm down when his co-workers piss him off. This is something that shows that Henry is a bit of a safe place for Alex, and that is another step towards the deepening of the relationship. The phrase, see attached bibliography, is the single sexiest thing you have ever written to me. These boys. I tell you, oh my god. Why is this line so popular? There's a reason, and that reason is when you're writing a love story, it's also important to understand why your characters love each other. You're not just throwing two attractive people into a room and telling them, okay guys, fall in love. You know, there are reasons. There are reasons that they're drawn to each other. There are reasons why they continue to talk to each other even though a million things get in the way. There are reasons why they keep pursuing this, even though it's probably a bad idea. With Alex and Henry, one of those things is that they're attracted to each other's minds in a very, very strong way. And this quote really plays that out on paper. The last thing I want to bring up in the context of writing a love story is which patterns of behavior do your characters have that might be broken? when they're in love. And this is something that just totally did it for me in this book. We know that Alex and Henry are both insomniacs. They're up at all ungodly hours of the day and night. When they're together, Henry sleeps. Waking up in the lake house in Texas, right? Alex is not a morning person and he 
gets out of bed before everyone else. He goes into the kitchen and he makes 12 pancakes and there's still a bowl of batter. He just makes a breakfast and coffee and he's cheerful and happy. And Henry comes in and he's like, who are you and what have you done with the dude that I remember? That really drives it home because it's the fact that Alex is not usually pleasant before 10 a.m. But here he is on vacation and in love. Those two things combined gave him this surge of energy to get out of bed and enjoy the morning and make breakfast. And that was just like, oh my god. Oh, my heart. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and for more writing lessons, make sure to check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you around the tube. Okay, bye!